Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to share with you a layout. The photo for this layout was taken of my daughter and I when we went to see Mamma Mia in November last year. To make this layout I'm going to use Kayser Craft paper um, from the Ooh La La range. I sorted through the papers and chose which ones I wanted to use. At this stage I thought I was going to use a white background but you will see later on I do change my mind. So I've been through my papers and I've done some fussy cutting. I've cut some flowers and some birds and I've also got um, a packet of collectibles, a dream big range. Although it's not the same paper range, they do go with these papers. So I'm going to use those. This is also where I changed my mind and went with this paper for the background. It's from the Mr and Mrs paper range by Kayser and I think the darkness just makes the colours look better. I then cut my papers. This paper is six inches by nine and three quarter inches. The bluish paper is seven and a half by three and a half and the other apricot coloured paper is ten and a half by three. My photo is 7x5 so I cut a piece of white cardstock to mat that photo on. I cut it to 5 and a quarter by 7 and a quarter and had a look what I thought of the white mat. I didn't think that the white mat suited it so I got some black cardstock and cut a black photo mat to see what I thought of that. I cut the photo mat to the same size five and a quarter by seven and a quarter. I preferred the look of the black mat so I then proceeded to cut mats for all of the pattern papers in black. I cut the mats a quarter of an inch wider and a quarter of an inch deeper for each piece of pattern paper thereby giving me a one eighth of an inch edge around each paper. I decided to have a border top and bottom of my layout so I cut one, two one inch strips of pattern paper and then trimmed my background paper down to 11 and a quarter by 12. I inked around the edge of everything. After everything was inked I used my cutting board to line my paper up so I could get my paper straight when I attached the strips to the background paper. Sorry about the shadow here but um, I was standing up so I could line things up and uh, you can actually see a bit of my head there. I placed my pattern papers onto their mats and then I attached them to the layout. I used a piece of cardboard at the back of the photo instead of um, foam tape to make the photo stand up off of the page. Now I get my embellishments out that I had previously chosen and try and decide what I'm going to place where. I've used an assortment of dies to cut some of these embellishments. Um, the lacy tag is a no brand, the stitch tags is a no brand and the other one is a Kayser Craft DD517 tag shapes. I've decided what embellishments I want to use and where I want to place them so now I'm going to go ahead and ink the edges of them all and attach them to my layout. I use some white crochet cotton to thread through the hole of the lacy tag to make some ties. 
The embellishments are stuck down with an assortment of foam tape, normal double sided tape and glue. For my title I'm going to use an Imaginarium Designs chipboard main letter set lower cases it says. So I've decided to heat emboss this. I'm going to um, use my Distress Ink and my black, fine black embossing powder and give each letter two coats. When that's finished I use clear drying glue to attach the alphas to my layout to create the title. To finish the title off I just write the year in pen by hand after November. Well that's my layout for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed it please subscribe and hit the bell next to the subscribe button and you'll be notified each time I have a new video. I would love it if you would share my video with your friends and please leave me a comment if you feel that way inclined. Thank you.